We're still here, post-game versus Jamaica with uh, Captain Paul Staltieri. And Paul, it's been three great performances for Canada. What is the change from, from Dale Mitchell to Stephen Hart's management? No, you can't say that there's a, there's a big change. Stephen was part of, uh, of, of Dale's uh, coaching staff as well. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, I said before, with a bit of luck uh, under Dale's management uh, in the qualifiers, things could have went completely different than they than they had gone. I mean, uh, you know, we dominate uh, we dominate the game in Toronto against uh, the same team we played today. Instead of coming away with a 1-0 uh, result, we, we came away with one point, and that kind of set us uh, behind the eight ball early in the in the qualifying. Really, really hurt us. But uh, you know, under Stephen and uh, I think Tony is a big part of uh, uh, Stephen's man management team. And the team, uh, you know, seems to, to, to respond well and always, uh, also, always do well in Gold Cups. And that's the first time we'll have that, uh, that group, the back four, playing together. What did you make of Kevin and Deanne's performance at centre back? Well, I think when when we have a fit fit Kevin back uh, back line, he, he helps the team, organizes the team uh, really well. He communicates with the, with the whole back line. Deanne, a young player, you know, I know Stephen was. Uh, uh, you know, uh, it was a question mark between probably him and uh, Richard to play today, because Richard, every time he plays for us, is, does does a fantastic job. So I think it was a bit of a question mark as to a, a good question mark to say because he had two two big options, and uh, give Dayon all the credit in the world. He played really well today for us. And on a personal note for you, you went to Fulham last year and helped them stay up. You've gone to Borussia this year and helped them stay up. What is it that you bring to a team that that kind of motivates them and brings them together to fight off relegation? I don't know. I mean, uh, hopefully we don't have to go through that again this year. You know, it's two years of uh, of, of, of a lot of stress uh, in the in the six months I went there, and hopefully this year for the first time in a, in a good couple of years I can uh, enjoy my football uh, a lot more than I had in the last couple of seasons. Because when you're playing in those situations, the se you know it only becomes fun at the end of the end of the season. Then you're right back into it. So hopefully this year we get off to a better start. And obviously when you were in London playing for Tottenham, you went through a long period where you didn't see any first team action at all. Um, was that demoralizing for you? Was it tough or how did you fight through those times? You know, there was a good two years where I did well and then, it, it, you know, obviously under new management things went different for me. And But, you know, mentally I'm stronger. I think I'm a better player because of, uh, you know, some of the hardships I've gone through in, the, in those times. And I think, uh, you know, going to Fulham was a, was a great move for me. And now uh, I'm enjoying my time back in Germany. You know, I have a couple more years left to go, and then uh, we'll see what happens after that. But I think uh, all in all, things have worked out. They tend, they tend to do so uh, if you continue working hard and, and, and get your head down and get on with it. And uh, last question, Paul. When they brought on Simeon Jackson, it really seemed to, to liven up the attack. Maybe having an additional natural striker playing up there with Ali. Did you feel that made a difference? And do you think we might see that uh, earlier on in the, in the next games? Well, I know it's an option for us. We knew before the game there was an option for us to either play with uh, our, our, our normal formation and uh, something we may be a little bit more comfortable with. But we knew now that we had an option to play with a different kind of system if we wanted to go up to up front. And, you know, I think during the game, if we needed to do that, we were able to do that. And I think, you know, in the second half, the game started slipping away from us. And I think uh, Stevens made a good substitution bringing him on and, and, and maybe changing up the chain, the game for us. And now... Obviously, in the next uh, games to come, we know we've got that option as well. All right, well, Paul Saltieri, captain for Canada on a great performance. And Paul, best of luck in the tournament. Thank you.